Okay, seems like a fine keep. Hey, Sophia. Meowdy. Hmm, I could have a spell pass. Like, spell pass is probably going to be us. Start off this invasion. Easy, Sora. Uh, fire off second invasion. Take this. Trailblazer. Feel like I might as well flip one of these invasions. I know we kind of want them in play for like Trailblazing Cura, but also I think another creature is pretty solid, I suppose. But yeah. Who knows? We pass up on four damage. Could just be Azorius. Make me look very silly for doing that. Okay. They are in fact scooping what they're doing. Oh, they, the creativity, creativity plays, does, would not have two islands and play that early though, right? That would be very strange. Let's bring in the Emrakul, take out the Poly K. Not really sure what they're up to. Probably not going to sideboard too much. I have to imagine Emrakul is good, regardless of what to do stack they're on. Good against blue cards. What's the best deck today? Mono green. Just uh, dumping some creatures into play, making egregious amounts of mana. Well, this hand is like slight awkwardness in the double neck boss, but also is obviously amazing. They are blue white. Okay, that makes sense. X out. Luckily, they don't answer my elf. We can make five green. Fire off this Cura. I hope they don't have a veto. No more lies also gets me. Okay, they have the veto. Rude. Mm, this game could very easily go south quite quickly. There's a field of rune. Actually, this might be good for us. If they field me, I get to play out with a replacement Nick Foss. Oh, this is great. This is excellent. Ah. Uh, resolve a storm festival. Well, Blazer Troll is also pretty good, but. Oh boy, that is pretty messed up. I would call this a good turn. <laughs> All right, then. Now, even if they sweep us, like, we're doing pretty well. They're apparently not sweeping us. They are apparently missing their land drop. Uh, how do we feel about drawing many, many, many cards? So that even if they sweep me, I just have infinite cards in hand. That was pretty good. I see. That's your plan, huh? That is uh, your plan. Just go for this Cavalier instead and try and hit another Nick Voss. Oh, 
Nope. Uh... Fire off this trailblazer. Work hot. All right. Unfortunately, if they sweep us, like, I don't know, we can still probably never lose. But, um, yeah, I guess we'd get to put, like, Storm on top. Yeah. So close to good. Yeah, this one's actually good. In fact, in shocking news, um, this one's pretty messed up. No, don't kill my elf! Oh, I mean, this is good too, but... Yeah, I guess that was pretty good too. Anyway. Maybe we'll get be incredibly lucky and get to flip this poly K. Seems unlikely. We do though. If we do. I mean, it's like non-trivial to kill this. Fatal push doesn't work. Currently. They are vampires by the looks of things. Great. Great. Excellent. Amazing. Mm hmm. Classic mulligan against vampires and get your hand ripped into oblivion. And wonder. Wonder why you're still playing. Seven, sure. Yep. Okay, Storm the Festival, off the top. Oh, it's almost good. It's almost good. All right, all right. Vampires, vampires. Not me to do that. At some point, I probably need to change the sideboard. I can't really imagine ever bringing in all three skyboats. Skyboat's great, but you kind of only have so many five drops. <laughs> I don't know. So it's a lot of five drops. Oh, some people are playing Tribute to the Wild Tree. I mean, the card's spicy. Hey, BB. All right, obviously this hand doesn't do anything, but also I feel forced to keep because I'm against the Fort Seas deck. Mm. The classic. The classic unkeepable hand versus Fortsy's deck. Hope to have a couple good four steps. I mean, we have um, the stupid 6 5 covered now. That's something. Best deck, best hand. Definitely one of those things. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> yes. Nick Foss off the top. Wait, does that even do anything? It almost does something. It would almost do something if you squint. Now it would do something. Or sees the target's lands. I feel like they did, although not for one mana. That bit they should not do. God fucking. Cream. There are only creatures that can't enter, right? I can still get Kiora. 
doesn't sound terribly exciting, but. Let me see. Trailblazer or Skyboat? I worry what's about to happen. Is that they're about to cast a Vein Ripper. And I'm about to feel really sad. They kill my troll here, I get it. Wait, can't enter the battlefield. Does this stop troll? Oh, come on. I guess it is a creature when it returns to the battlefield. It's just true. They're just right about that one. Okay. Well, they didn't play a Vein Ripper. Brennan's deck is quite hateful. It's true. No, my elf. Rude. Can I please draw an untapped land? Heal. Draw. Ah, uh, sure, sure. You discard a fatal. Okay, they don't have an answer to the cavalier. They can get in with their menace creature, but. What is this goblin shaman attack? I block. Lana Rawls and standard for five years. Indeed, indeed. It's uh, slightly terrifying. <laughs> Lana Rawls is a hell of a card. Are they chump blocking? They sure are. This game could kind of go either way. The reflection's a bit spooky, but apparently we seem fine. Okay. Kind of want to get this in play, right? So if the invasion flips, I get to draw a card. Trample, excellent. Trample and Mountain Spark. To print Bolton Foundations. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know about that one. I'm going to be honest. I don't know about that one. <laughs> That's a lot of mutivolts that they can block with. A lot of mutivolts. I meant to double block here, I would lose the trailblazer. I feel like not going to six makes it way harder for me to die. But it gives me one less thing to attack with. Uh, whatever. Where are the Hydra is spicy? Okay, so I want to cast this pre-combat for indestructible value. Not what it particularly matters. They have to block the Cavalier. Not die horrifically. We can untap the non-trampler to block with. Good luck. 
Okay. Okay. Relief. Relief was felt. Now they get to uh, copy the mutable and fling it at something. Fling it at this Regasaur. And then they get to die. Greetings, Sun Thief. All right. They had a very hateful draw, but they did not have Vein Ripper on turn three, so. That did make things easier. On to game three. I think we're like two wins away from Mythic. Hopefully we can get there. They did show me go blank. I probably meant to bring in this bail off. I don't know if I meant to take out oddities or not. I'm a little, a little bit worried that if I take it out, I can just like lose to extinction event more easily. Maybe I'm being silly. Axolotl Kiora. Okay, I need to go look at this in a sec. <laughs> That's uh, that is an important announcement. Take a look, see. Also, Tesseract. There are no pictures of these. Eevee. How can I? How can I look at these cards? They aren't on the Discord. Oh, is that the secret layer you're talking about? Do I need to go look at that? I'll do that in a sec. Uh, this cure is pretty nice. I do think the fact that they've done nothing in their first two turns means they're guaranteed putting Fane Ripper into play next turn. Oh my god, the Huali's perfect. Okay, the cure is even more perfect. I thought the Hawatli was good, and I, I was wrong. The Hawatli's nothing. <laughs> oh. Compared to the alternatives. I just uh, bashing for one here. Yes, so. sir. Get in there. Elvish Mystic. God, I wish there was just a whole set just exclusively of the Planeswalker variants. I swear they're just like the best thing Wizards of the Coast has ever put out. <laughs> it's so good. I might have missed sequence there. I didn't really think this through as much as I perhaps should have. Uh, now I just make this super large and can attack Sorin, or I can make it super large, and attack their face, attack them for nine, and throw these two at Sorin. That's pretty good, right? Pretty good. I lose an elf. And in exchange, they take a bunch of damage. They do get to gain some life of blocking the elf. I don't know. Seems acceptable. Oh, they're blocking the troll? Okay. I guess that kind of makes sense. It does mean... um. I can draw a card if it if Kiora lives. It also means I'm not minus any devotion. Alatas. Oh boy. Braska canonically turns into a lizard. Wow. <laughs> That's spectacular. Love that for her.
Do I have lethal? I assume the answer is probably yes. I'm very head empty. Um. Uh, three minus two is one plus eight is nine. So I can do a four and a three and they can block the three and they get yeah. Um. In which case, I might just force them to chump block with the Kalatas and be happy with that. That's probably good enough. Eleven. This is probably good. They go to eight. We got a ley line in place. Now our devotion's turbocharged. I used to go to 10, but. I feel like it's going to be hard for them from here. Maybe if they extinction event and hold Vayne Ripper on defense? I think even then they probably have to chump block. I'm not sure. Lair looking super good this game, I know, right? Lair's just soloing this game. It's kind of obscene. Uh, you can sacrifice a creature with flying friend. Poison status picked. That poison sure has been picked. Uh, seven plus six, so five plus six. Cool. Easy game. Oh, they're not actually like, okay, they are dead. Cool, cool. Yeah, exactsies. Wow. Easy. Who cares about Vein Ripper? Vein Ripper ain't nothing. Vein Ripper's a nobody. Uh, yeah. Slightly more normal deck. Both my decks are exceedingly normal. Saying otherwise is just rude. <laughs> Maelstrom Wanderer food chain is like the obvious thing you do when you see the card Maelstrom Wanderer, right? It's literally the thing that everyone should do when they see Maelstrom Wanderer. And then you put in a bunch of time walks because you're cascading, so you might as well. Like, what else would you do with that card? It's not my fault that I get to enjoy playing 10 minute long turns. It's my opponent's fault that they aren't enjoying playing 10 minute long turns or enjoying me playing them. Either or, like. Draw two cards. Build a deck of Wilderness Reclamation. True. I'm sure people would find a way to complain about it, though. <laughs> oh, I'm probably going to die on turn four. <sighs> probably going to die on turn four. I really hope I don't. But we'll see, I guess. Maybe I draw Nickfoss and then, like... Plausible, I, I get to keep playing magic. They are doing the silly Comptorious thing. We might, we might be dead. We might be dead. How's it going? I will answer that based on the outcome of my opponent's next turn. Also, High Noir is going pretty well. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> 
Oh, boy. Well, probably gonna die. Not find a Nick boss. Could deal 16 to their face. The problem is then I die. Yeah, them not killing any of our stuff means they just have the turn four. It is true. They need an untapped land. Yeah. I guess they do play a lot of triumphs. Wow, traitor. Where were you, traitor? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Grrr. Okay, maybe they just have lots of clever impersonators in hand. That's not a promising style. We are forced to make them play it out, right? It's not deterministic, they could have drawn a couple. And they could hit, like, impersonators before they hit spark doubles. It's seeming increasingly less likely there. Yeah, it goes by pretty fast, it's true. Hitting spark double first makes it deterministic. They could have just drawn like a bunch of spark doubles though, right? Which would stop it being deterministic, or am I misunderstanding something? Anyway, we're dead. Oh, it gets non-legendary? Okay, that makes sense. That makes it pretty deterministic, yeah. Ah, uh, well. Wish I had more stone brains. I say that much. Yeah, once they have one double, they're all non-legendary. That's cool. Actually, not aware it worked that way. I just want to hit Mythic, please. Uh, this hand seems very slow. This hand seems somewhat better. By Oddity, my friend. Next time we have five, so we can at least deploy the light line. This is like pretty reasonable. Ooh. Hmm. This. On that festival, that is a pretty good storm. The festival, I gotta say, <laughs> they have a ley line binding, they gotta use it now. Nice hits, exceptional hits. You name Spark Double. Instead of Quintorius, am I right in believing that's how it works? Vanquish the Horde. Good lord. Oh no, I didn't look at that deck. I make that mistake every time. I'm not used to how Arena does it. They get to find a planes and then they get to vanquish the Horde. That's gonna be somewhat sad. They're probably beautiful. I assume I want to flip this to draw a card instead of having the devotion in play. Obviously, it's just going to die to vanquish the horde, but. 
Uh, my idea of naming Spark Double instead of Quint is that Quintorius is kind of a dead card, but Spark Double. And Carnosaur doesn't do anything that way. Or the Carnosaur does a lot less, it's much more manageable. All right, gonna lose our battlefield. Unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, I can overpower Quint pretty trivially. Is my impression. Well, we can't use the backup Nick Foss this turn, right? So might as well take this. <laughs> sure, that is a Quintorius. They get to gain like a very small amount of life here. Oh my god! What? I kind of forgot that Quintorius does that, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, that wasn't a use case I'd really considered. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, I forgot as well, Scooter. Exceptionally funny. Hey. Nice. Game free. Unfortunately, we only have two stone brains, so we're not going to draw one every game. We'll see how it goes. I think the Horde's kind of fucked up. Why did they not just copy Quint? Uh, they didn't have Spark Double on their decks. They can't combo kill us. They, if they had more clever impersonators, they could have copied Quint to like gain two or four life and dig for the next one. Um, it doesn't really, because we removed their Spark Doubles, they can't actually combo with impersonators. This is for Mythic, yeah. Cool down to this. I feel like I am obligated to keep this hand and also feel like this hand's not the most likely to win. <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to mulligan this, but... Uh, it sure does not stop them going turn four Quint at all. I mean, the big takeaway from today is I really want more stone brains in my sideboard. At least one more. We wanted another one against Amalia as well. I hear that Amalia deck is pretty popular, so I'm told. Get in there, Lanarar Elf. Kapow. Uh oh. That means they probably have planes in hand. That means, like, not a hundred percent dead, but <laughs> it ain't looking great for our hero, I gotta say. Yeah, you just keep going till you hit a spark double.
There's the Nick Foss. All right, we get to untap, but we're probably dead. We get to untap though, we can do something. Okay. Wow, they didn't have the planes. That's phenomenal. So good. That means we might get there. We're like pretty likely to kill here if they don't do anything. Eleven. Uh, I really don't know what my sequencing is. I think I untap this. I think I kind of want to play these and then just activate before doing things. Yeah. Opponent's willing to believe I have it when I'm drawing free cards of everything I cast. Heck yeah, we got some Mythic. Wow, the Quintorius matchup feels horrific. Good lord. I can't believe we won a match against them. <laughs> that felt so horrendous. Let's uh, quickly put another stone brain in the sideboard. Stone Bran. <laughs>